Hey, what's up fellow Star Trek fans? Will here. Welcome to the Ensign's Chair. Now, I typically do model builds and I don't usually do uh, reviews on merchandise and, and, and collectibles and things like that, unless it's something to do with modeling itself. But uh, I got this new jacket in from New American Jackets and I want to take a look at it. Now, I know Stuart Foley had done, uh, he's done a review on this jacket already. He's also done a comparison between the uh, I think the cotton version and the suede version which is what they come in now I got the suede version because that's what it was on screen but uh, if you want to save a couple bucks you can get the cotton version but I think you should if you're gonna invest the money go ahead and pay the couple extra bucks get the suede version unless you really hate suede or you're allergic to it or something and you want the cotton but uh, anyway the only reason I'm doing this video really is because I had a modification done to my jacket that I want to make sure everybody's aware you can have done to your jackets uh, if you're interested in making them a little bit more accurate. So give me a minute. I'll put you on the bench. We'll take a look at this jacket. All right, so here is the jacket. And uh, you can see, hopefully you can tell in the camera. I mean, this jacket is just gorgeously made. Um, it did a really good job of recreating the bomber jacket from not only Star Trek V. A lot of people talk about Star Trek V because that's it's, it's featured prominently there with Kirk wearing one. But... Scotty actually wore one in Star Trek 3 and 4. So uh, they've been around in the movies, and I'm, I, I met somebody, uh, ran into another uh, uh, participant or attendee at the uh, Wonderfest in June, and they showed me their Picard Season 3 jacket from New American Jackets, and it was really well made. I liked it. It fit nice. and uh, But I'm, I'm not a big... Um, Picard series. I like the series, but as far as like the clothing, the uniforms, I like the classic series and the movie versions um, of Star Trek. I, I also like the Next Generation, but uh, I really uh, grew up in these movies. So when I went on their site and I saw that this jacket, they had a reproduction of this jacket. I just had to have one. Um, I ordered mine in the beginning of July, and I just got it right around August 20th. Now, part of that's because they've had such a demand for these jackets that uh, they're a little bit backlogged. But the other part of that is because I requested a modification to this jacket. Now, as you can see, it's got everything that you would expect the jacket to have. It's got the strap, the shoulder strap that comes over that your rank insignia goes on. Um, it's got the patch, which is leather. It's either leather or vinyl back. I think it's leather. It could be pleather. I don't know. But uh, but it's it's leather backed and uh, your insignia goes right on there You can see that you also have leather strapping around the uh, the left arm, which is where your rank insignia goes uh, Well, actually not your rank. I'm sorry your uh, use of service pins go and uh, So that is all done correctly. And I know Stuart had made a comment about uh, the he had his jacket had the leather a lighter colored red leather on it this one looks darker than it did in his video. Um, he did comment that the cotton one had a, diff a darker colored leather than the uh, suede one that he got. But this one actually looks uh, more like the cotton one that he had. And I don't know if they get different batches on these dyes or, or what have you. But I actually like the coloring on this one. Um, so I think that turned out really well. And uh, you've got the gold buttons. You've got uh, these two pockets on the outside as well as a pocket on the inside of each side and uh, that is also suede lined on the outside anyway but um, the jackets are really well done now I will say that these these are not jacket a jacket you would expect to be uh, made just for the purpose of wearing for like a costume these are really well jack well made jackets they don't have a lot of insulation though as far as the jacket comes so uh, you could potentially, I could see wearing this comfortably uh, without layering up probably probably in the 40 degree range, maybe in the 30s, depending on what part of the country you live in. Um, but uh, if you layer it up, you could probably wear this pretty comfortably in some pretty cold temperatures, uh, mainly because if you've got the suede leather, it's going to protect you from the elements. So it's very nice. Um, I think it's really well made. It's what it's actually beyond my expectations of what I thought I was getting when I bought the jacket. Um, even though I did see that other jacket that was made uh, by New American Jackets, I didn't know whether or not they put that kind of quality in all the jackets, but I can tell you they definitely do. This jacket is really nice. Um, 
I will add uh, one problem that I have with this. Uh, these, the belt here, the shoulder strap, and then the strapping around the arm are leather. And the problem with that is when you put your pins in, you better be sure that your pins are where you want them to be. Because once you poke the holes through it, you're going to have a hard time uh, getting that hole to close up if you have to move the pin. Uh, so you really got to look to try to cover it up make sure, first of all, that your pins are in the right place and uh, that you have to do minimal repositioning because uh, I don't think the pin holes are going to close up like they would, say, on a cotton if this was made of cotton instead. Now, I don't know if this is the way the original filming jackets were made with the leather strapping on both these or if these were cotton, but definitely I will say if you get this jacket, be sure where you're putting your pins before you poke the hole through it because that's one issue you may run into. Um, other than that, I haven't really, I don't really have any negatives about this jacket. I will say, and I mentioned, I had one alteration made to my jacket, and that was people that were getting this jacket uh, had these belts, but they were not detachable. They were sewn to the jacket. I contacted, I emailed uh, New American Jackets and asked them if there was a way to make these detachable. And sure enough, they emailed me back and said that, yes, they can make them detachable. So these detach, they open up with a button so that you can potentially put a belt buckle on here. Um, I've been in contact with one person that makes buckles. They don't know if the buckle will work with this jacket or not, though. I'm not sure uh, what the con concern was with that. I sent them the measurements and showed them pictures of the buckle but or the uh, straps. Um, I don't know if the strap's too wide or maybe it doesn't go deep enough for the buckles to connect because there is a bit of a gap here and a gap here, but these, of course, overlay uh, once you button these in. So you've got about that much of a gap, which I wouldn't think would be a problem. But uh, hopefully somebody's making a buckle that will fit this. I'm actually currently uh, working on a 3D printed belt buckle that would obviously be ornamental, not, uh, not very functional. I'm looking at working the working with that and getting it to maybe connect with magnets and then uh, that way there's less of a chance of breakage should it catch on something but uh, I will put that out when it's done and see what people think of it um, I think if I can uh, get the right metallic paints used on it it'll look very convincing as far as being uh, a metallic object versus a 3d printed plastic part so I'm gonna work on that and see how that turns out but uh, let me flip you back up here and I will talk about one last thing on this. Alright guys, so here's the jacket. Now the only thing I'll point out, I'll mention real quick before somebody points it out, is that they sent me the wrong size jacket. I had ordered an extra large, they sent me a large. Um, so I've been in contact with New American Jackets. I can say that their customer service has been really good whenever i've emailed them i've usually gotten an email back a response back within a couple hours to a day and uh, they have told me that they're going to they apologize they're going to fix it they're going to send me out an extra large uh, with the modifications that i requested and uh, hopefully i'll have that here not too much longer i'm looking forward to having this for uh galaxy con in richmond uh coming up next next march i believe and then i'll probably wear it to uh Wonderfest again next year as well. So uh, it's it, even though it's the wrong size, I will say it is a really nice jacket, and even for being undersized, it fits pretty well. It's not not bad. It's just a little tight across here, you know. I'm not uh, not the the thin young lad I was a few years ago. If I lost a couple pounds, this actually would probably fit pretty good. But uh, I mean, I can button it up, And uh, it's, it does have some elasticity to the waistline. So if you're worried about this jacket being too snug around your waist, don't be. It's, there's plenty of give in this jacket, which you can see from, uh, some, from my felt figure that uh, it fits just fine. So if you've been on the fence about buying one of these jackets, I highly recommend do it while you can. Do it before the prices go up on it. Do it before Paramount issues a cease and desist or something. Get one of these jackets. You will not regret it. Get your pins. There's several uh, sellers on eBay, Amazon. I, I found them all over the place. And uh, just jump on it while you can because at 150 160 bucks for a genuine suede leather jacket is not bad. And to have it and be able to get it uh, from, from a, a movie, a TV series that you've loved all your life like I have, I'm really ha happy to have this jacket. So 
just wanted to put this out there and let you know that the jacket is available it's real it's genuine it's a nice jacket and also about the uh alterations to the belt in case you want to get a uh, a belt buckle so with that i appreciate everybody for watching these videos hopefully you got something useful out of this and gave you some information please hit that subscribe button down below if you did find any useful information if you don't want to subscribe you don't have to but please at least hit that like button let me know that you watched the video on that uh, you got some useful information out of it maybe it helped you make a decision whether or not you want to get one of these jackets but uh, i appreciate everybody for watching Till next time i usually say keep modeling but i'm not doing a model in this video so i'll just say keep trekking